Welcome everybody. Thank you for stopping in. Going to be opening some packs today and I figured why not stream it. <coughs> so we got two boxes. Going to open them both today. Our patrons and our Discord members gobbled these up at $3.25 a pack. And if that's something you're interested in, head on over to our Discord. We have lots of box break signups over there for excellent prices. I know we have some $12 packs for collector boosters of the Brothers War, um, some other stuff like that. So let's get to cracking. How's everybody doing? This set was super fun. Lots of great reprints in here. Parallel Lives, Doubling Season, Smothering Tithe, Ristic Study, Land Tax. So much good stuff in here. Obviously new cards as well. A new Tutor was introduced into this set. Uh, Agatha Soul Cauldron is in this set. Yeah, the anime Smothering Tithe. Um, which I have pulled one of those. Not in a set booster box, it was in a it was in a collector booster. But anyway, we'll just give these a little bit of a shuffle here. Yeah, it was I didn't pull a foil one, but it was still super nice. That that anime uh, art was in here. Bitter Blossoms in here. Yeah, lots of very cool anime treatments in this set. And just tons of like just tons of playable pieces. Like the market is just soaked up a lot of this stuff, like the the smothering ties and the doubling seasons and Parallel Lives and all that kind of good stuff. The doubling season foil, yeah. The, uh, did you pull the goose one or just the just a foil one? Either way, the artwork on these are all super nice. The uh, like just the the extended the extended art versions of these cars are super nice. Yeah, the goose one was really cool. Uh, I would have loved to have pulled one of those. Uh, let's see. First up, we've got Adam in with four packs. So here's four packs. Those will be going to Adam. All right, uh, we do have an ad incoming, so we'll see if it actually happens, but we'll start, we'll get it started here. Swamp, Witch Stalker, Ambush, Scavenger, a lot of green, <laughs> lots of green. Greta, Sweet Tooth, Gingerbread, Restless Vine Stalk, and a doubling season, woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! First pack magic. There you go. Man. Straight out the gate. $45 card there for Adam with a doubling season. I saw the saw the edge in this art. Now the uh, there's lots of obviously other cards that have this the parallel lives, you know, but obviously then the, the actual art is different. But I saw it and I said, no way we're getting a doubling season on pack one, but I'll be I'll be danged. We sure did. Uh, let me grab some sleeves. In my excitement to uh, to grab those sleeves, I knocked my drink over, so that worked out. Knocked my drink, which was over, off to the side. No, 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 no worries. No worries as far as a spill goes uh, for cards. But silly old me. All right, Adam. Whoa. Good hit straight off the rip. Let's check pack number two. Ravnica Remastered. I didn't actually open any Ravnica Remastered. I have uh, I have a collector box of Ravnica Remastered right here. Uh, it is one of the um, box breaks we have available to our patrons and to our Discord members. I think that we're doing 18 bucks a pack for this. Um, we're also doing, or it might be closer to 20 for that one. I can't remember. Um, we also have two boxes worth of Brothers War collector boosters. Those I think are $12 a pack. So really good deal there. 12 bucks a pack for collector boosters. And that's free shipping to the United States. And then we've got a Doctor Who and a March of the Machines as well. And you'd think I'd be on Whatnot, wouldn't you? Uh, but no. And then a Lord of the Rings special edition as well that signups are available for all of those if you if anybody is interested in getting in on any of those. Sam, thank you for the first time chat. Uh, one of my limited uh, favorite limited sets lately, a lot of versatility. Yeah, there's a lot of great stuff in this in this set. Okay, another swamp. This is all the last one was all green. This one looks to be mostly red. Grand Ball Guess, Skewer, Stockpiling Celebrant, Boundary Land, Monstrous, Embrith. The end and raid bombardment. We got a list card here in the back. The Royal Scions at Mythic. 
that's pretty good. Not sure the financial value of all of the stuff that's on the list. Uh, I know the end is not a financial hit, but um, just to be safe, I'll go ahead and sleeve this Royal Scions because I'm not sure what financial value is there. Just to err on the side of caution. Doesn't matter, you made your money back um, at $3.25 a pack for these packs. That uh, doubling season netted you quite a lot. Uh, there we go, Full Art Mountain. Those These lands are very cool, very pretty, very pretty lands. Kindred Heroism. Frostbridge Guard, Freeze in Place, Snare Master Sprite. Uh, this set did have a lot of cool fairies. Um, it had the fairy precon as well. High Fey Negotiator, Soul Guide Lantern, Spell Scorn Coven, Knight of Doves, Rowan Scion of War. Uh, that was, I don't know that there's a lot of financial value in that one, but it was a hyped up card for this set for sure because it's the first time that, that you saw them on a card by themselves. Uh, Polluted Bonds, not bad. It's pretty good. When a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, that player loses two life and you gain two life. So great synergy for any vampire deck or uh, you know decks that just want to ping people to death. Not, not a card people are going to want to play against. Yeah, the, uh, Sam, the end does see a lot of uh, play um, in some other formats. That's, that is very true. Uh, and then break the spell. Mr. Sam. Sam doesn't get to hang out with us a lot in our evening streams as he is usually in bed. And the last pack here for Adam. Full Art Swamp. Kellen's Light Blades. Ice Out. Ash Party Crasher. Lidron of the Ball. Howling Gale. Thing. Experimental. The Iron Crag. This sees some play. Uh, I think it's financially viable I can't remember exactly and a griffin airy with a stab wound foil so yeah definitely still worth the price of admission there for four packs to uh, just just for the doubling season oh okay yeah Mando yeah they just I guess they haven't been on cards uh, not together in quite some time but yeah so definitely some good pulls here uh, next up we do have Sam for four packs one two three four let's see what you get if you're here and you're not following us, be sure you go ahead and follow us. We uh, just hit our goal of 100 last night, so we have a new goal of 115 followers. The next step, well, they got you a double season, uh, doubling season art card. Just run it like a proxy. Forest, Bruiser, Vantress, Knight, Glass Casket, Princess Takes Flight, Dutiful Griffin, Questing Druid, Ley Line of Lightning, Bellowing Bruiser, Full Art Forest, Nice. Mary Bard, Shatter the Oath, Aaron's Whisper, Succumb to the Cold. Ooh, a truffle snout. I was just eating one of those truffles. Twinning Twins, a fey fairy card, Ground Seal, and a Curiosity. And oh, we got something in the back here. Hey, uh, this is the, uh, I want to say these are the reskinned in-universe versions of the uh, was it the Walking Dead secret layer? Uh, I can't remember which character was the red green one offhand, or if this is worth money, but it is just yet another added piece of value to this set overall that they reskinned that secret layer here. I know the the white one is worth quite a bit. The uh, the in-universe version of Rick, steadfast leader. Oh, well, that's a uh, Grand Armancy there. Full art, full art planes, grabby giant, and he's just picking that guy up. He doesn't look very excited to be being slung around by that grabby giant. Get your hands off me. Red cap thief, belligerent, fall storm, killed, old flitterfang. He's eating some sort of like, is that supposed to be like a meat pie with like innards, or is that just supposed to be like? A gross depiction of, of fruit and then his just his disgusting wings in the background. What a gross card. Become Brutes. Song of Totentens. <laughs> Guess that's supposed to be the uh, Pied Piper singing songs to the, to the rats there. Goblin Bombardment and a Ginger Brute. There you go. Ginger Brute. I don't think the Goblin Bombardment's worth anything, but that is the rare for that pack. Last pack for Sam. Forest. Hopeless Nightmare, 
Warehouse Tabby. Killed that rat. Gnawing Crescendo. Galvanic Giant. Disdainful Stroke. Pretty good. See some play. Archive Dragon. Restless Vine Stalk in the full art. So that's a cool card. Uh, I think it's worth a couple bucks. And an Elusive Otter. And a, hey, there you go. Hardened Scales. Oh, no, Hardened Scales. I was thinking it was a parallel last. Hardened Scales, super playable, though, in any plus one, plus one counters deck that has access to green. So a three rare pack, though. That's pretty good. So no crazy hits for Mr. Sam. Yeah, Hardened Scales, super good. Yeah, and Bombardment is a good, is a great card. It's uh, super playable as well. Uh, yeah, in any sort of like sacrifice at instant speed, is any sack out is great. Next up, we've got JP in at three packs. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, you're a, you, you're definitely a more competitive player than a commander player for sure, Sam. So a lot of these cards are, like you said, more. Um, not as much about the value so much about the playability. How's everybody doing? Got five people watching. It's pretty good Honestly for some some pack openings in the middle of a day on a on a on a Thursday interesting art card there All right, JP. We got a planes firebolt living lectern Shrouded Shepherd woodland acolytes or Armont the Redeemer Moonshaker Calvary there you go. That's a hit God, I forgot all about this card. This set is loaded <laughs> this is the uh, white version of uh, Crater Hoof Sands Trample uh, Sub Flying. So the XX until the end of turn, all that wording is the same. The difference is that Crater Hoof has haste and grants trampling. Moonshaker does not have haste and grants flying, but still a very good, very good hit. Uh, Impact Tremors and a Questing Druid. So. JP was in for three packs. I believe that will pay for these three packs, no problem. I think that's about a fifteen to twenty dollar card, depending on where you're buying it at. Good hit. So this box has been good so far. Um, I think we paid like a hundred and six, hundred and ten ish for this box, and uh, that doubling season was forty five. That Moonshakers will will be generous and say twenty. So we're at 65 bucks in just those two cards so far in this box. It's just a great set. A lot of great cards. All right. Mountain, Beanstalk Worm, Bruiser, Besotted Knight. Uh, let me yeah, try to get these out so you can see them better. Dutiful Griffin, Three Blind Mice, uh, Impact Tremors, and a Twisted Fealty. That is the Rhystic Study Anime Art art card so pretty planes root rider fawn coral smith plunge into winter crystal grotto ember the veteran dane's recruiter stroke of midnight there's a playable card um, this is essentially a better version of generous gift because it makes a one one human instead of a three three elephant so that's seeing uh, quite a bit of play Lord Skitter's Blessing. And then, oh, there you go. An anime grave packed. Man, this. And, and an Eldrazi conscription in the list slot there. Man, that grave packed is cool. Anime grave packed. We'll check the value there. But yeah, that was a good pack. It had the Stroke of Midnight, grave packed. Um. The blessing's not worth anything, but let's check the Eldrazi conscription as well since we're here. Enchant a creature, it gets plus 10, plus 10, has trample and annihilator too. So you essentially can turn a non Eldrazi creature you control into an Eldrazi. Or just, you know, give another Eldrazi the ability to be even more sickening. So, man, what a pack. Great pack there. JP always has the best luck. I don't ever have that much luck. But, man. Next up, we've got. Uh, Gavin. Gavin is in for 10 packs. He missed out on the entry for the uh, Caverns of Ixalan, so he said, I want to make up for that and just buy a buttload of the Wilds of Eldraine. So we got 10 packs for Mr. Gavin. Full Art Mountain. Prophetic Prism. Not dead after all. Every time I see that card, I think of, it's not not dead after all, but at the end of Hook, uh, the old man uh, tootles. Robin Williams' character, uh, Peter Pan, gives him back his bag of marbles, and he's so happy. He's like, I'm, I didn't lose my marbles after all. Torch the Tower. 
Solitary Sanctuary, Bitter Chill, Tome Seeker, A Tale for the Ages, and A Knightly Valor, uh, Plains. There you go, up the Beanstalk. That is the uh, uncommon here that's worth quite a bit. Uh, well, I mean quite a bit. It's worth quite a bit for an uncommon couple bucks. Uh, Tempest Heart, Collector's Vault, another Lord Skitter, and a Grasp of Fate. And a Garrick's Uprising. It's very cool cards. Oh, and a Dream Spoilers. Yeah, you do. Yeah, that you, you need to go through your bulk for sure. The Up the Beanstalk. Um, Especially in like higher, higher, uh, you know, CMC decks, uh, you know, dragons, dinosaurs, anything of that nature. Because whenever you cast a spell with mana value five or greater, you can draw a card. So yeah, it's uh, it is the uh, it's the big uncommon from this set that's worth a couple bucks. Uh, it may have gone down some if it's only a dollar now. It was worth like two or two two or three bucks at some point, but for an uncommon, still another forest. Evolving Wilds. I mean, you know, when you're building a deck, you need these things. Acolyte, Moral Treatment, Red Tooth Vanguard, Sleep Cursed Fairy. So that's a pretty good one. It's a one drop for a 3-3 three, three with Flying and Ward 2. Jesus. For one blue? Yeah, that seems... That seems... God, that seems good. Dark Tutelage into the Fey Court. And Cavalier of Thorns. That is also a... Mythic from the list slot, uh, worth about a dollar. I mean, something's better than nothing. Signed art card. Full art planes. Titanic growth. Spell stutter. It's good in the fairies deck. Uh, Obrea's attendant. Agatha's champion. Picnic ruiner. Ugh, just he just stole the whole dang basket. What a jerk. Ruby daring tracker. Witch stalker frenzy. Yenna red tooth regent. Elf noble. Oppression, gross, stab wound, and a farsight ritual with a human token. All right, pack number five. Not too much to write home about just yet, but playable cards for sure. Forest, commune with nature, feed the cauldron, scream puff, minis, <laughs> mini strosity instead of monstrosity i'm sorry mint strosity god the that is the other thing about this set the flavor golly is just so fun my wife absolutely loved opening this set uh glass casket mosswood dread knight i don't think that dread knight's worth anything either all right pack number pack number six for mr gavin planes Sky Beast Tracker, Scarecrow, Three Bowls of Porridge, Financier, Edgewall Inn, Rowdy Research, Gumdrop Poisoner, Mana Flare, that's a good card, Curiosity, Provisions Merchant, and a Treasure Token. We got a Mountain Cut In, Bespoke Battle Garb, Twisted Fealty, Witch's Vanity, Cursed Courtier. Agatha's Soul Cauldron. There you go. This was sitting at like 50 bucks. Not sure where she's sitting right now, but again, this set is just absolutely loaded with hits. Agatha's Soul Cauldron. We'll put that there. And a compulsion. <laughs> oh my god. From the same pack, a smothering tithe. Like, are you kidding? And a foil up the beanstalk. What a loaded pack. My good gracious, that is ridiculous. The Smothering Tithe is 15 to $20, depending on where you're buying. Uh, the Up the Beanstalk's a couple bucks. That's your second Up the Beanstalk, Mr. Gavin. And then that Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Oh, man. Well, you know what? Those first, those first five packs didn't have a lot going on, but man, you just made all your money back right there. Shoo! This has been a fantastic box. We're well, we're well past the value of what we paid for this thing. I mean, a fifty-dollar pack. <laughs> let's let's go. A fifty-dollar pack. Holy hell, so good. And we've still got more to go. And we've got those up the beanstalks as well. I've just got them over here. What a monster pack. That was so gross. Backlash, man. What a pack. Shoo. 
Yeah, you looked away. Yes, you looked away for two seconds. You looked away at the wrong two seconds, my friend. Uh, art card. Island. Outrider. Fell Horseman. Uh, recruiter. Stroke of Midnight. Again, um, so it's seeing some play. It's, it's, not, it's not massively valuable. Um, it is more financially valuable than Generous Gift just because there's less of them to go around. And in, uh, and in, of course, in Commander, in like a mono-wide deck, you're probably going to want to run both. Ash Party Crasher. Uh, Hornlock Whale. That art is very cool. These The, the frames for these um, ad adventure cards are, are very pretty. Heart Flame Duelist. So two rares. Oh, three rares. Rest in peace. Good card. When it enters the battlefield, exile all graveyards. So Graveyard Hate. Super viable card at uh, 2 CMC to exile all graveyards. And then if a card would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, exile it. So it just shuts off all the graveyard decks. Um, edge wall pack. And then a list card, Fallen Ideal. What a pack that was. Man. Comes in waves, doesn't it? All right. That's a cool art card. Not a big fan of art cards, but that's a cool art card. Island. Where Fox. Bloodline, Vigil, Chancellor, Red Cap, Gutter Dweller, Dark Tutelage, Fraying Sanity, and a Candy Trail. Oh, and an Orcish Artillery. Another list card. Cool. Last pack here for Gavin. Swamp, Misleading Moats, Barrow Naughty, Cooped Up, Sleight of Hand, Swarm Piper, Skitter's Butcher, Sellsword, Corvold, and the Noble Thief. Feral Encounter, Spreading Seas, and a full art foil doubling season. Like, what in the world? Golly. That's nuts. And then a list card. I mean, my goodness. My goodness. I should say you did well. Wow. <clears throat> Well, Gavin, I think you did all right, my friend. So you missed out on Lost Caverns, but uh, maybe that was a blessing in disguise. All right, next up, we've got Jacob in for two. Shoo, what a box. Full Art Plains, Were Fox, Curse of the Were Fox. Oh, here we go. All the green again. Red Tooth, Bestial Bloodline, Giant, Disdainful Stroke. That's playable. Archive Dragon. Up the Beanstalk. Hey, there you go. That's our, what, third, uh, fourth up the Beanstalk this box. A Lich Knight's Conquest. A Nature's Will. I mean, that's that's pretty good, too. Candy Grapple. And a Fairy Token. I don't think Nature's Will is worth a ton, but it's definitely a playable game piece. It untaps your, when one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, tap all lands that player controls, and untap all lands you control. Definitely a playable card. Then you hit that me second main phase and untap all your lands. That's good stuff. All right. Island. Break the spell. That's pretty good. Destroy target enchantment for one white. Yeah, pretty good. Definitely playable. Sugar Rush. Quick study. Draw two cards. Water wings. Pick lock. Prank master. Some more fairies. Chancellor of tails. Ego drain. Sir Ginger. The meal ender. Uh, Griffin airy. Picnic ruiner. And a list rebuff the wicked. That's pretty good. There's not a lot of counter spells in white. This one is counter target spell that targets a permanent you control for one white. So, uh, yeah, you can, there's probably space for that in your commander decks. Okay, next, Shane decided he wanted to get a few packs. He's in for three. All right. Uh, signed art card, Mountain, Triumphant Return. Protective Parents, Ego Drain, Abrea, Fairy Fencing, Dream Spoilers, Court of Vantress. Uh, I know there's some value in this cycle. I know the court, uh, the green one, the Court of Garenbrig. I think that's like a ten or twelve dollar card. Not sure about this blue one. I'll check the price of that in just a minute. A Charming Scoundrel, an Intangible Virtue, a Vampiric Rites, and a Food Token. And a Vampiric Rites looks like like matte almost like a matte foil very cool looking little art mountain root rider fawn merfolk coral smith plunge into winter crystal grotto 
succumb to the cold. Ice rot sentry. We've got a lot of blue going on here. Shari of the numbing depths. A lot of cold stuff too. Succumb to the cold. Ice numbing depths. Uh, interesting. Solitary sanctuary. Spiteful hex mage. A knightly valor. A wildwood mentor. And an on an adventure token. Last pack here for Mr. Shane. There's the uh, art for the Court of Garenbrig, I'm pretty sure. Forest, Into the Fate Court, Stingblade Assassin, Mocking Sprite, Fairy Dream Thief, Neva, Eret's Tempting Apple, Stone Splitter, Pollen Shield Hair. Such a cool looking thing. Creature tokens you have get plus one, plus one. The Goose Mother, that's a really good card. Uh, we play with Beth, the Queen of Cardboard, and that's like her signature deck. She absolutely loves this card. And the deck is pretty fun. Dragon Mantle, so that's a playable card as well. And a Galvanic Giant and food token. Only in for three packs, so less than 10 bucks. And you did pull the Court of Vantress, which is worth more than that. So still value even only for three packs. And then lastly, we have me in for four packs. We've pulled so much value out of this box, I'm just happy that everybody got good stuff. Brave the Wilds, Ruins Grim Search, Troublemaker Oof, Tanglespan Lookout, Graceful Takedown, Agatha of the Vile Cauldron. I uh, don't think that one's worth anything. It's not Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Ground Seal, Agatha's Champion, and a Food Token. Full Art Island, Witch's Mark, Diminisher Witch, Sweet Tooth Witch, I wonder if they do this on purpose. Like, hey, that last pack was all like icy and frozen stuff. This one's just a bunch of witches. Cheeky house mouse. Twisted sewer witch. See? See what I'm saying? Twisted sewer witch. Like what? Tattered ratter. Uh, pests of honor. Extraordinary journey. Fiery emancipation. It's going to deal triple damage, so that sees some play. Red tooth genealogist. And a... Uh, list fairy artisans okay good to know sam set packs have a theme interesting yeah because we pulled one it was all green stuff we pulled another one it was all white stuff then it was all icy then it was all witches so that's good interesting to know so is this one going to all be dogs we'll see edge ball pack uh rat catcher trainee armory mice so like creatures maybe flick a coin uh frolicking familiar hearth elemental Johanna Prentice Sorcerer, Splashy Spellcaster, a Restless Biovac, so the uh, land cycle here, uh, Utopia Sprawl, Impact Trimmers, and a Royal and a Young Hero Enchantment. That was another thing they introduced in this set was these uh, these rolls, these enchantment rolls. Um, and they, they can definitely impact the game. Last pack of this box which has been a fantastic box. Full Art Forest, Spider Food, Candy Trail, Ginger Brute, Gadwick's first duel, back for seconds. So this one's all about food. Welcome to Sweet Tooth. You weren't kidding. Storyteller Pixie, Godric, Cloaked Reveler, Hatching Plans, Copy Enchantment, and a Wicked Visitor, and a Food Token. All right, that rounds out our Wilds of Eldraine. So let's just recap here what our big hits were. So JP had some big hits. He had the Stroke of Midnight, the Eldrazi Conscription, the Anime Grave Pact, and a Moonshaker Cavalry in his three packs. Man, three packs. What a haul. Sam had the Hardened Scales, the Vine Stalk, and the Hansk, which was the reskinned in-universe version of the Walking Dead secret layer. Pretty good. Um, then we had Mr. Adam in with a Polluted Bonds, the couple of Rowans, the Iron Crag, the doubling season out of that first pack. Uh, that was a good first pack to get us started out to a good box. And then, man, Gavin cleaned house with the Stroke of Midnight, two up the Beanstalks, one foil, one regular, the doubling season in full art foil, Agatha Soul Cauldron, and a Smothering Tithe. Whew. And that, the Agatha Soul Cauldron and the Smothering Tithe were both in a pack together. Like, how are you gonna do that? How are you gonna do that to somebody? Spread the wealth. 
That's okay though. It makes for exciting pack openings for sure. And then Shane had three packs with a court of Vantress. Um, check us out on all of our socials. We're on like we're on Twitter, we're on TikTok, we do shorts, we do Instagram. Um, of course we're here on Twitch. And thank you everyone who followed us today. And we will catch you next time. Everybody have an awesome day and bye bye.